As the chair of the 2020 Memorial Cup, knowing the class of the Kelowna Rockets organization, the high level of support from various organizations and community groups, the strong working relationships with the city of Kelowna, and also RG Sports and Entertainment, and the desire for the Kelowna Rockets organization to have this tournament help support our community's social needs, we are 100%, actually we are 102% confident that Kelowna is going to do an absolutely outstanding job in winning the bid for the 2020 Memorial Cup. There are a number of uh, things that are different about our community than uh, in 2004, particularly uh, our downtown. A lot has happened in our downtown for the, the positive in terms of uh, vibrancy and revitalization. So I think that uh, the timing is good because we can now showcase a, uh, a much grander downtown, uh, offer a lot of different things to uh, visitors coming to our community, and not to mention the fact that uh, at that time year the weather is great um, and uh, for all of the reasons that everyone else wants to visit Kelowna would be a great reason to have the Memorial Cup here and I really think we can set the bar in 2020 uh, and be a model for future Memorial Cups. I think our city deserves another chance to have it you know we, it'll be 16 years by then and uh, I know myself uh, you know I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this that we get an opportunity to uh, to live the dream of hosting this thing and uh, more importantly, trying to find a way to win it again. Junior hockey in Canada and North America even, uh, you think about Kelowna as a city, I mean, this is the epitome of what junior hockey is. It's, a, it's not a big city, it's still a small tight-knit community that has a great fan base. Uh, it's a beautiful city, but then you, you tack on the Kelowna Rockets, the, the Hamilton family, the way they run this organization. Uh, I think the mayor said it, this, is, this has got to be one of the best organizations junior hockey wise in North America. Uh, and the players know that when they play here. Every one of these buildings that are five to 6,000 seats that this event goes to has some, has some issues just because you're all of a sudden going from having uh, you know, five to 10 media there to 100 there. So you're going to always have to find a way to accommodate that. Uh, the dressing room situation here, we know what it is and I don't think it's going to change right away. So we just deal with it the way we did in 03 and 04. Uh, we brought in and built, to, you know, real nice dressing rooms and two of the teams were basically in portables but they were uh, they were real good and it, but we would have been happy to use them. We have already started to prepare the bid guidelines for the WHL Board of Governors. The bid will be presented at the, at the October 2nd and 3rd Board of Governors meeting when the decision will be finalized with respect to the 2020 Memorial Cup host. I, I never rebuild, we just retool. And uh, when you look at uh, basically what the core of that team would be, would be your 20 year olds and we've got five or six real solid guys that will be 19 this coming year that will be back as 20 year olds. So, uh, in one way, it gives us opportunity to have uh, three real good overage players out of that and some ammunition to deal with if we needed to move some people to get some more assets. But uh, we're really confident that our list is real strong, our 50 player protected list, and that we've got a real good solid group of players coming in. So I'm, I'm not worried about that at all.